Now, without doubt, there is lots to admire in these ladies. For a start, it hasn't been an overnight success. This was the result of years of dedication and training. But what I admire the most for is that if you go and you want to win a Grand Slam, there's no point in sending a man to do a woman's job. <laughs> None whatsoever. And I know Rob Carney is there somewhere, so I hope he's laughing. Uh, also along the way, we beat England. <laughs> yes? So this award is for you girls. Come and get it well deserved. <laughs> trophy out to the front where we can see it. That's ours. <laughs> Fiona, I want to come to you first. I've been hearing about you guys for a very long time, actually. Every time her dad, Mick, saw me, he used to run up to me and go, you have to do something on the ladies. They're doing mighty. And you have done mighty. You've won the whole thing. What is it like to be now getting acknowledged on the level that you are? Um, it's been a complete roller coaster, I suppose. Um, obviously, joy because we put so much into it, and to have people recognise is brilliant. Uh, relief playing that game. Obviously, everyone saw it, horrific conditions, and we set out to win the Grand Slam this year, and we took it game by game. And going into last, that last game, we knew we were good enough. We knew we had the trophy, trophy won, but we weren't going to fall at the final hurdle. And to have the public support behind us was just phenomenal. And like, we have so much pride wearing the Irish jersey, singing the anthem, but the support that we received this year from the Irish public was just phenomenal and it blew us away. Like, it was just unbelievable. Yeah. Nora, obviously you've given women's rugby in this country such an amazing platform. Now, wh what do you think is gonna happen next? Um, well, hopefully we get more and more people playing, to be honest. I mean, before the Six Nations, if you told anybody that you played women's rugby, they kind of looked at you weirdly and questioned, but the rules aren't the same with the men, are they? You know, so mm. now when we say we play rugby, they actually have a huge smile on their face, they give you a pat on the back and they say, oh my God, well done, the woman did so well this year. They used so, to say the same thing about boxing as well, <laughs> didn't they? True, and I think Katie Taylor definitely started the trend and I believe now more and more women are definitely going to step up and start winning things in Ireland. But not just that, like we're seeing a lot more females wanting to take up the sport. You saw the kids there from Ashburn, they're enjoying it. The mothers and fathers are now wanting to bring their daughters down to the local rugby club. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to see. Absolutely. Philip, or should I say goose? <laughs> <laughs> What you've achieved is amazing. As you said, sacrifice is huge, but you're getting the rewards now. We are, but it is, it, it is fantastic to be here tonight. But the, the, the hard work was done a couple of years ago, started a couple of years ago. Myself and the RFU, after the last World Cup, we did a technical review of where we were at that time. We knew we had strengths and weaknesses, and we worked on those weaknesses an awful lot. And credit to the girls, like, it's all about dedication and serious sacrifice. And, You've seen just this, hopefully, the start of what we can do. We've got a World Cup next year, which we qualified for this year. And let's hope in Paris next year we can uh, break in definitely into the top six, and you never know, we may have... Go to Paris back. and get a win. That'd be nice, yeah, wouldn't be it? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Irish women's rugby team.